Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about an important topic which is bacterial classification. As you know, the bacterial classification is really tough to understand and to memorize. And for that reason, I am going to give you some of my information and mnemonics. So you can see there is gram positive bacteria, gram negative bacteria. There is also coagulase positive bacteria, coagulase negative bacteria, catalase positive bacteria, catalase negative bacteria, and there is also novomycin, novocin, and lots of things. So uh, it's really tough to remember all those things. But I'm giving a mnemonics, and by this mnemonics, serially we are going to remember those names. And this mnemonics is Gramin Coca Cola has no backup options that means this mnemonics will help you to do the test of bacteria and by this test we are going to make the classifications okay so gramin means gram positive or negative and coca-cola means co means cocci or rods that means another name of rods is bacilli so ca ca means catalyst coca and again it can be catalyst positive or negative and then cola cola means you can remember cola means coagulase that is this is cola and first was co that is cocci or rods so that can be coagulase positive or negative and has has identifies or it indicates the hemolytic or not no means novocin or not that means backup backup means bactericin or not and option means opton but of optocin positive or negative Okay, so let's go for the action. We are going to discuss about the battery classification by these tests. So first of all, I am going to draw a haphazard bacteria around this name of uh, bacteria. Okay, so at first we are going to decide because there was gram, so gramin, so gramin is gram positive or gram negative. If it is gram positive and if it can be negative so if it is gram positive or negative in either way we are going another we are going to do another test which is cocci or rods what do you mean by cocci and what do you mean by the rods cocci means it is coiled and rods means it is just a stick like a structure so there can be positive cocci, positive rod, negative cocci, negative rod. And again, you see, in the negative cocci, we are going to discuss first the negative gram negatives. So if it's negative cocci, then negative N, N for Nicheratia. And there will be the negative rods, right? Gram negative rods. The gram negative rods, to remember this negative, you have to remember the N. N for next all. That means all of them cocci uh, positive rod positive or cocci negative and rest of all is the next all that means the rests are rods okay so we are going to discuss now about the cocci and rods which are positive which are gram positive so the gram positive it can be cocci and it can also be rods so Another name of rods, I already told you, uh, that is bacillus or bacilli. This is bacilli or these rods, we are going to discuss about this at first. To remember gram positive bacilli rods, it is very easy to remember because you can have to remember this mnemonics ABCDL. What is ABCDL? ABCDL means actino. Mycin 
A, A for actinomycin, B, B for bacillus anthrax, and C, C for clostridium. And again, there is D, D for commonly there is diphtheria. So, acrinomycetes, then bacillus, clostridium, and diphtheria. And rest L means listeria. So, it is very really easy to remember this A, B, C, D, L. Now, we are going to discuss about the cocci, the gram positive cocci. If it is gram positive cocci, then after gramine coca cola then co already we have discussed that um, that was um, cocci and rest of is co ka ka means catalyst if it is catalyst catalyst positive or negative so do the test and what test we are going to do to identify it we are going to do the catalyst positive or catalyst negative so either way this gram positive or negative doesn't matter it can be the gram positive cocci and that is gram positive cocci catalyst positive or gram positive cocci catalyst negative that means already there is gram positive and cocci is present if any bacteria which is gram uh, catalyst positive it is already cocci and it is already gram positive so the catalyst positive remember the positive remember the phylo that means positive phylo that means positive phylococcus staphylococcus remember by this way on, on the other hand if it is catalyst negative then it is streptococcus there is no phylo positive and phylo there is no positive phylo there is streptococcus so if it is positive phylo we have to do some tests so what are the bacteria are really uh, catalyst positive and what are the bacteria which are catalyst negative if it is catalyst negative you remember this this is streptococcus and you know uh, previously i have discussed about the gramine coca cola that means coca and this is now cola the cola means coagulase test that means coagulase positive test or coagulase negative tests you know uh, after coca cola there was has gramine coca cola has i'm going to show you the previous lecture you can see the gramine coca cola has no backup option they have already gramine already coffin coca already catalyst all, uh, now we are going to do uh, coagulase and there is has has means uh, hemolytic so if it is coagulase test positive and it is negative and on the other hand uh, catalyst negative uh, streptococcus has um, hemolytic tests so what are the hemolytic uh, what will be the result of hemolytic test there will be three kind of hemolytic test one is beta hemolytic test another one is gamma hemolytic test and there is alpha hemolytic tests it is really easy to remember by this way and you can remember by heart uh, because it will help you to remember your all of these um, bacterial name so please do subscribe my channel and next you will get um, more interesting lectures so if it is coagulase test positive then staphylococcus aureus so what is coagulase test positive test that means staphylococcus aureus and what are the coagulase test negative tests you have to do after coagulase test there was novo bio sin tests this novo bio sin tests it will help you to identify either it is epiderm epidermitis or saprophyticus if the novomycin is positive then it is epi positive epidermitis 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 positive epidermitis novocin test positive epidermitis and novocin test negative saprophyticus so if it is gram positive if it is cocci if it is catalyst positive if it is coagulase uh, positive then it is staphylococcus if it is negative 
then definitely it is normalizing test then it is positive then epidermitis and if it's negative then you can say it is saprophyticus let's discuss another thing if anyone ask you a simple question about a streptococcus then do the hemolytic test only alpha gamma and beta if it is beta then b4 bactericin test we are going to do bactericin tests and in this bactericin test we can identify what kind of beta hemolytic it is and if it is alpha hemolytic then we have to do the optocin test if it is bactericin positive b for hemolytic b if you bacteria is positive then p for pyogens that means streptococcus pyogens is bacteria positive and beta hemolytic and negative is agalacticus and on the other hand alpha hemolytic p for positive in pneumonia p for pneumonia and there was uh, beta negative that means alpha hemolytic negative op uh, optocin negative test that is mutant and there is another uh, name which is called the sangais is really really tough name to remember mutants and sangais okay so rest of is there uh, the gamma hemolytic tests okay so uh, what is the gamma hemolytic test that means the gamma hemolytic test is enterococci sometimes you will see in different kind of uh, uh, structures and figures where you will find out the enterococcus what is enterococcus that is gamma hemolytic streptococcus and what are the enterococcus there is fecalis and fasciam that's end <laughs> i mean you, you have already know what are the wh what tests and what are the bacteria so now um, i'm going to give you a chart and before that i'm going to tell you sometimes people will ask you what is why you are calling this gram positive why you are calling this gram negative what is catalyst positive what is the negative i'm going to make another video for that but today for the on just for the bacteria so there's gram positive and gram negative you already know so what are the gram negatives there is obviously cocci and there is rod so um, if it is rod then remember by this way that means next all if it is cocci then n for nicheria that means gram negative cocci n for nicheria gonorrhea or nicheria meningitis both can happen nicheria meningitis or nicheria gonorrhea so uh, this is only cocci and rest of all is rods then which are not gram positive and not gram negative cocci they are the rods i mean rods are a lot of there if you want to start reading the <laughs> name of the rods um, it's really it will be really tough for you okay the moraxilla is gram negative cocci i told you about the nicheria gonorrhea initially meningitis remember m for meningitis m for moraxilla for gram positive gram positive okay so gram positive rods at first we are going to discuss about the gram positive rods so if i am writing gram gram sorry gram positive cocci and there is gram positive rods okay so if it's rod then you can remember by a b c d l i told you before a b c d and l and if it's a b c d l uh, this mnemonics only you can remember this mnemonics it will help you to understand and uh, memorizing all those name of the bacteria so a for actinomycin and the b for bacillus anthrax um, bacillus anthrax is rot gram positive rot and there is c c for C for Clostridium. Three types of Clostridium there, and there is D for the diphtheria. 
okay and the l l for listeria so these are the gram positive rods and what are the gram positive cocci it is really tough to remember the gram positive cocci if you identify already the gram negative or gram positive rod then it is easy to remember but the four gram positive cocci you have to remember the mnemonics i gave you at first coca cola that means gram in coca cola has no options so uh, there is catalase positive catalase negative coagulase positive coagulase negative cocci okay uh, you can remember by this way by staphylococcus aureus the name only name the staphylococcus aureus uh, epidermitis and staphylococcus saprophyticus okay so staphylococcus aureus staphylococcus um, epidermitis and staphylococcus saprophyticus these names are really coagulase sorry catalase positive okay so these are catalase positive and you see staphylococcus aureus is only catalase positive and also it is coagulase positive on the other hand the staphylococcus epidermidis is coagulase negative and staphylococcus saprophyticus coagulase negative again the staphylococcus epidermidis that is novo sin positive and saprophyticus negative so it is catalase positive bacteria staphylococcus aureus staphylococcus epidermidis and staphylococcus saprophyticus let's discuss about the catalase negative bacteria what are the catalase negative bacteria as you see the catalase negative bacteria all of them are called streptococcus so whatever you are going to name that bacteria you have to say strepto this bacteria strepto that bacteria right <laughs> so it's really common like staphylo aureus staphylo epidermidis this way so what are the streptococcus um, Catal uh, catalyst negative there are beta gamma and alpha okay you can see the gamma streptococcus um, alpha beta and gamma gamma streptococcus are intercoccus and others are beta uh, hemolytic streptococcus and alpha hemolytic streptococcus okay to remember the beta hemolytic streptococcus alpha hemolytic streptococcus i told you remember the positive for p and um, positive for p so pio gen and pneumococcus that means streptococcus pneumony and streptococcus pyogen those are positive what positive that means beta hemolytic streptococci if bactericin positive then it is pyogen streptococcus pyogen and if it is optocin positive alpha streptococcus then it is pneumo pneumococcus or streptococci pneumonia and what are the bactericin negative bactericin negative of agalacticus and the optocin negative are mutants and sanguines so it is bactericin negative and the yeah, by optocin negative okay so i'm giving you the full view of my note you can just um, screenshot it and please remember to do subscribe my channel and also um, remember to like my channel and make some comments uh, what i need to do to improve my lecture for you and um, i'm going to give you more mnemonics in my lecture so please please do subscribe and send your friends and hit the bell icon that will help you to know when i am going to give my next lecture for you thank you very much